Good morning, friends. Everybody say number one. one. Your attendance cards are in the pew pockets in front of you or to the side of you if you're on the front row. If you will fill those out and when the offering bowls come around, if you will plot those in there to let us know you were here today. Also, how to join cards are in those pew pockets. So if this is the Sunday, you would like to join our church, there will be an opportunity near the end of the service. Dr. Uh, Mike will be down here, and we would love to welcome you into our church family in an official capacity. Say number two. Number two. Academy starts next week. For kindergarten through fifth grade, academy starts next week. Now, a couple of reminders. We start at 915 for those who are in choir and those who are doing mission. We really want you to, to jump right on in and families, we feel like this is a great opportunity. You can bring the kids to the children's wing, sign in at 915, and then there's going to be places where you can have a cup of coffee and relax before your Sunday school class starts too. We tried to find a way to, because you know, grown-ups like to see their church friends too. So we tried to build that into your morning schedule. We will rotate the kids during the academy time, and then pickup time is at 1050. And we really want you to come pick up your kindergarten through fifth graders at 1050. Be out of there no later than 1055 because our teachers are volunteers, and they also want to go to worship or to brunch or anywhere else that doesn't have goldfish crackers all over the floor. So if you will please do that, that would be great. Say number three. Number three. Next week as well. Next week's a big week. At 11 o'clock, our traditional service is going to have some changes. I call them accommodations, ways to make it a place where we can all worship together. It's not kid church. It's not even family worship. You say family worship and people start to think about bounce houses and other things. It is traditional worship with all the, uh, the aspects of a traditional service, but we are accommodating our youngest. Because here's the deal. Say, what's the deal, Mr. Mark? <laughs> Children's choir is for children. Adult choir is for adults. Youth choir is for youth. UMYF is for youth. Adult Bible study is for adults. Worship is for everyone. Let me say that again. Worship is for everyone. There's even some stuff in the Bible about that that you're going to hear next week. Now, we're not going to expect people to come into worship without 
also equipping you with something. So here is every child that comes into 11 o'clock will get this. You don't get to keep them, but you get to use it for the 11 o'clock service. This is your worship kit. And I know people have said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crayons and da-da-da-da-da-da. No, come on. You know me better than that. These are ways to engage children in the actual service they are in. I mean, there's tons of stuff in here. I'm going to show you one thing because there's not enough time to show everything. But here is an I spy card. Everybody go, ooh. Everybody go, ah. And the I spy card has things that are symbols right here in this sanctuary. We have such beautiful symbolism. There's tons of stuff in the wood. And we, we, it tells you what they are and why they're there. Because some kids will ask, why do we have pictures of sheep all over the church? Or what's the deal with the fish? So we like kids to know. But some of them are kind of hard to see. So in every worship kit, there's a telescope. And it's a surprisingly good telescope. And, you, and so during the sermon, Dr. B is probably going to see a lot of kids looking like pirates looking around. There's tons of stuff. I don't want to give it all away. There's some things that are a little small in one box. So these are recommended for ages three and up. We even put a little warning on the side of one of the boxes because we have a lot of lawyers here in the church and they help us out. Um, but the other thing, and this is something that's going to make all the grown-ups very jealous. The kids are going to have an eight-page full-color bulletin. It has everything that's in, the, it has every word of the Gloria Patri. It has the doxology, the creed, the Lord's Prayer, every word of every hymn. But it, it's got every, it's got like the creed mapped out. It's got two pages for the sermon layout with all kinds of questions and things to think about. And I know a lot of grown-ups are thinking, I want one of those bulletins. So the first Sunday next week, we're going to have that bulletin for everyone so you can see what the kids are going to have. And then kids, every Sunday when you're done, if you will leave your kit right there in the pews, we will collect those on Sunday afternoon. We will restock those, refill those. Anything that accidentally uh, slipped into a pocket and went home, we will take care of that because we love you and we strongly believe that worship is for everyone, not just grown-ups and kids have to suck on a lifesaver and color in the margins until they're old enough to understand it. Because let's be honest, even we grown-ups have a hard time understanding some of it. So that worship is for everyone. We believe in that. And we're going to do everything we can as a church to equip you with that. Can I hear an amen? amen. He pauses for oxygen. Another thing that's going to be changing next week, how many of you have already uh, come upstairs to do the secure check-in? Okay, right after this service, we're going to have a little open house. If you want to come up to the second floor to 209 and learn a little bit of how to use the pads, you type in the last four numbers of your phone number, the last four digits of your phone number, and then it prints out two tickets for every child you have. So let's say, for example, Fort Landon up here. If, if you, you punch that in, it'll print up, a t and one of them is a sticker that you put on Landon's back. And it's got his name and the classes that he's in. And as the weeks go by, the other thing we'll have is his parents' location in the building. So if there's an emergency, any adult that's in the building can go, oh, Landon, your mom isn't so-and-so. Let's go find her right now. And then you will also have a ticket. This is your ticket to collect your child. Don't send someone else to get your child without a ticket. We need a grown-up to come check out a grown-up because... The, the safety, see, it's just technology. It's only secure if we do what we're supposed to do with it. And we make grown-up to grown-up handoffs. And you come and you show a ticket. If you lose your ticket, don't lose your ticket. But if you lose your ticket, we can print you another one in 209 so you can go get your kids. So don't worry about it. We're just really trying to be as loving and open as we possibly can while also being smart. And that's a good thing, yes? Say number five. Oh, Mark, are you almost done? Yes, I'm almost done. Caroline was showing me this picture, the insert, and showing me the picture and going, isn't that sad? And I said, yeah. But the, the thing that's beautiful about it is, how many of you have wondered, what can I do about Harvey? I, you want to do something. Your people of action, all of your people of action, that's, that's what our church is about. This whole two pages can tell you some things that you can do to be a part of the recovery effort, how you can help. There are tons of ways to help in a very focused, in a very intentional way. And if you are moved 
to do something. We've got a church member that, I, that a few days ago took his boat down there and he was posting videos and he saved lives. And it's just the most amazing thing. Put a lump in my throat. You can be a part of the rescue effort. You can be a part of the recovery effort. Here is how. Guess what? Say what, Mr. Mark? And that's all the announcements. I'm tired of talking. You've got to be tired of hearing me talk. Let's do some singing. Everybody stand up. The first song we're going to do is reach up, reach in, reach out. Sarah, can I have a G, please? I'm going to sing something. You're going to echo me. I will sing, we can talk to God. And you sing, we can talk to God. Any time of day, you sing, any time of day. And you get that. That's how that part works. Then together, we're all going to do the refrain, and it goes like this. Watch me. There's actions. Reach, reach up. up. Let's all do that. Reach, reach up. up. Reach, reach in. in. Reach, reach out. out. And if you feel so inclined, put a little boogie with it. It goes, reach up. Reach, reach in. in. Reach, reach out. out. And if you want to put a little sound effects, reach up. Ha! Reach in. <laughs> reach out. Dun, 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 dun. However the spirit moves you. All right? It's not me to question your spirit. Miss Sarah, here we go. Echo me. We can talk to God. We can talk to God. Good. Any time of day. Any time of day. And we need to listen. And we need to listen. To what God has to say. To what God has to say. Here we go. Reach up. Reach in. Reach out, da, 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 da. reach up, reach in, yeah. reach out, da, 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 da. good, good moves there, Hunter, I like that. <laughs> God will guide our hands, God will guide our hands, God will guide our hearts, God will guide our hearts, God can give us power, God can give us power. Serve and do our part. To serve and do our part. Here we go. Reach up, reach in, reach out. Da 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 da. Reach up, reach in, reach out. Da 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 da. Good Emma. Da 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 da. Everybody go. I feel like you've got the power. So for this next song. We're going to talk about things that are little bitty, and we're going to talk about things that are great big, and where is God in all of that? That's a question I've heard a lot of grown-ups and kids ask the last nine days is, where is God in all of this? So the last part that's really important goes like this. Can I have, um, can I have an A, please? There is love, love, love. Sing that. There is love, love, love. And it goes like this. God's love is all around. Here we go. God's, God's love, love is all around. Warm up your hands for this one and do what I do. Miss Sarah, here we go. Start here. In the little bitty woods, there is a little bitty tree. In the little bitty tree, there is a little bitty nest. In the little bitty nest, there is a little bitty egg. In the little bitty egg, there is a little bitty bird. In the little bitty bird, there is love, love, love. God's love is all around. Good. Now, wonder where God is in big things. Get ready for great big. Here we go. In the great big woods, there is a great big field. In the great big field, there is a great big hill. In the great big hill, there is a great big cave. In the great big cave, there is a great big bear. In the great big bear, there is love, love, love. God's love is all around. And God's love is in you too. Here we go. In the one and only world, there is a one and only land. In the one and only land. Only town in the one and only town.
Okay, so our Bible memory verse is a little long to memorize the whole thing, but it comes from Esther, and it comes from a story that we're going to explore a little bit later. Repeat after me. Who knows? Maybe it was for a moment like this that you came to be part of the royal family. There's a saying that that which is personal is universal, and Esther found herself in an unusual place where she found herself part of a royal family. Now, probably most of us aren't a part of a royal family, but who knows, maybe it was for a moment like this that we were called to do something. So the part that's most important for you to remember is say, maybe... It was for a moment like this. And the rest of that is for you to fill out. Let's all stand up together as we sing our hymn, Here I Am, Lord. may be seated. Our opening prayer experience is an imagination prayer, prayer. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to put your hands right here and I want you to rub. And I want you to think about something you do really well. Something you love to do and so often those are the same things that we love to do and things we do well tend to often be the same thing Maybe golf is not a good example But something that you love to do and you do well and I want you to put it right here in this hand And I want you to hold that hand up Because God put that there God gave you a special gift God made you there's only one you in the whole world and only you can do things exactly the way you do them and I want you to say Thank you, God, for imagining me. Okay. 
Okay? Now put that up on a shelf for just a second. And I want you to massage your imaginations again. And I want you to imagination, uh, I want you to imagine something the world needs right now. I bet it's not hard to imagine something the world needs right now, something our own state might need right now. Maybe someone's hurting, maybe someone's sad, maybe something has happened to someone's home. Maybe someone at our school feels sad because they haven't they're having a hard time making new friends. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to imagine how what God put into you could be used to help someone in God's world. And I want you to put that right there. Because where your great love meets the world's great need, that is your call. And I want you to hold it up and I want you to say, with your blessing, blessing, may it be. be. Okay, now take that thing off the shelf from your right hand and hold them both. Repeat after me. Thank you, God, for imagining me. With your blessing, may it be. And put those together. Amen. Amen. All right, we've got a theme for today. Do you want to know what our theme is? Uh, I do too. And Adeline has our theme, and she is so ready. Look at those eyes. Boy, they just perked up. Adeline, come on. Everybody stand up. Everybody do a big drum roll, and let's find out what our theme for today is. Faith! Let's give our Adeline a hand. And Adeline, who decorated that sign? You did? That's awesome. You did a great job on that. Have a seat. Wonderful. Now our friend Thomas is going to show us the sign language. Thomas, if you'll go over next to Mr. Cha-Cha and show us the sign language for faith. Yeah, because sometimes faith can be a silent, quiet act. Let's see it again. Let's see, that was, you worked so hard on it. That's worth a second look. Yeah, let's all show faith together. Let's give Thomas some sign language applause. Yeah. And now our friend Rusty, say hi, Rusty. Hi, Rusty. Has some friends who want to share some stories with us today. Come on, ladies. Don't be shy. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I have some friends this morning that are going to tell us about their experience with faith. So I'm going to ask them to step up. And I'm going to get down on one knee because they're a little smaller than me. Come here. Don't be nervous. You were all chatty this morning, so you can't get shy now. What is your name? Lillian. This is Lillian. Everyone say hi to Lillian. Hi. Lillian, say hi to everyone. Hi. So Lillian, do you have an example of something you've had to do recently where you needed some faith? Whenever I started school. Ooh, starting school is a good one. How many of you have started school in the last week or so? Raise your hand. Look at all of the other people that have started school. How many of you needed faith to get through that? Parents, how many of you needed faith to get your kid through their starting of school? Look at all those hands, right? There's a lot of hands. Why were you so nervous about starting school? Because I want the summer to still be here. Oh, man, that's a good answer. She wanted summer to still be here. Did you have a good first day of school? Yes. Yes. How did your faith help you? Did it help you? Did you... Say a little prayer and feel more relaxed? Yes. That's a good one. That is a good one for us to think about. Anytime we do something new and scary, we need a little bit of faith to get through it, right? Thank you, Lillian, for that example. Everyone say thank you. you. All right, let's meet our next friend. What is your name? Addie. This is Addie. Everyone say hi to Addie. Hi. Addie, say hi to everyone. Hi. Just turn and face everyone. They want to hear you. So, Addie, what have you had to do recently that you needed a little faith? Monkey bars? Monkey bars. Ooh, monkey bars are scary. What was hard about the monkey bars? Sometimes I fell off. Oh, sometimes you fell off and you couldn't get across them, right? How did you have faith to get over them? Mm. Did you say a little prayer? Say, oh, help me have strength to get through the monkey bars? Mm Mm-hmm. Were you able to get across the monkey bars now? Yeah. Ooh, and she even told me sometimes she skips a bar and goes to the second one. Is that true? Yeah. I could never do that. That's a great one. Thank you for that story. Everyone say thank you. you. All right, let's meet our last friend. What is your name? Caroline. Caroline, this is Caroline. Everyone say hi to Caroline. (laughs) Caroline, say hi. Hi. So Caroline, has there been something that happened to you recently that you needed faith? When my grandparents were in Sugar Land, they almost got flooded. Ooh, they were dealing with some of the flooding. Now you were telling me they had to hide out somewhere. Where have they been hiding out? Upstairs. They've been upstairs. Have you been really nervous for them? Yes. How has your faith helped you get through that? 
Because I prayed to God. You prayed to God to help them out? Is it working? Yes. How are your grandparents doing? Good. They're doing good. Now, do they have any people with them? Yes. Who's with them? I don't know. You told me this morning that some of their friends were with them, remember? Their neighbors, is that right? Mm -hmm. So they have a big old party going out at their house while they're waiting out these, this really scary situation. Thank you for that story. Everyone say thank you for those stories. And now I think it's time to hear from Wendell and Lorraine. Yeah. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm glad you're all here today. Lorraine has decided to present a very special expression of faith. Oh, you are in for a treat. She has been Wendell. working on this and working on this. Wendell, I can't do it. <laughs> Lorraine, where are you? I'm back here. I can't do it, Wendell. Just, 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 just tell everyone I'm... <laughs> tell everyone I'm sick. Lorraine, I think they can hear you. All right. Why don't you just come out? Well, fine. But... Well, you were fine a few seconds ago. Don't you want to do your, um... um my uh, interpretive dance about faith? It's a cross between ballet, polka, plus the whip, the nae and the little cotton I joke running for style. Wow, yeah. that sounds pretty awesome. It is. So what's the problem? Ooh, what if I mess up? Well, you might. Wendell, what kind of friend are you? You're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say, oh, no, Lorraine, you won't mess up. It's going to be just fine. Well, it will be just fine, <laughs> even if you do mess up. What if I, what if I trip over my tutu? And? And I fall down real hard and get a boo-boo. And? And I cry so bad and everyone hears me go boo-hoo. Well, those are all possible. Wait, don't you get it? Tutu, boo-boo, boo-hoo. Lorraine, don't you have faith in yourself? Not at the moment. Well, how about this? Do you have faith that your friends support you and that we root for you and that no matter what, we'll always be proud of you? Oh, uh, maybe. Well, that's a start. You know, it's okay to be nervous. It just means you care about doing a good job. But don't let the fear get in the way of doing what you love. We have faith in you, Lorraine. You can do it. Okay, fine. I'll give it a try. And she goes. And now, faith, a sacred journey through kinesthetic expression featuring me, Lorraine. Na 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 na, faith, 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 faith. Na 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 na, faith, 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 faith. Na 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 na. Faith, 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 faith. Na 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 na. Oh! Ouch! My big moment, and I blew it. Oh! Well, I have finally done it. I have broken children first. <laughs> now no one will ever see me whip. <sighs> or nae nae. <sighs> Lorraine, are you hurt? Am I hurt? No, just my pride. So, that means you can finish your dance. Oh, Wendell, are you crazy? I blew it. No one wants to see me dance now. Well, I do. And I bet all of our friends do, too. And don't your friends, don't you want to see Lorraine finish her dance? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, uh, Okay. <laughs> I'll give it a try. <clears throat> and now, Faith, a sacred journey through kinesthetic expression featuring me, Lorraine. <sighs> na, 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 la. Faith, 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 Faith. La, 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 la. Now watch me whip, watch me nae nae, watch me whip, whip, watch me nae nae. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Nigel? Woo-hoo! Yay! <laughs> Great! You did it! <laughs> so, how do you feel? I feel great! I feel like I have faith. I feel like I have friends. I feel like I can dance. Dance with me, Wendell. Oh, la, la, no, la, no, la, that's 
I invite you to stand as Landon leads us in what we believe. We are not alone. We, we live, live in God's, God's world. world. We, we believe, believe in God, God who has, has created and is creating, creating, who has come in Jesus, Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. Spirit. We, we trust in God. God. We are called to be the church. church. To celebrate God's presence, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus, crucified and risen, our judge and our hope, in life, in death, in life beyond death, God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Amen. Bible story today about the great hero Esther, I'm going to need your help. There are five people in this story whose names you're going to hear, and you have to make a sound every time you hear that person's name. When I say Xerxes, Xerxes is the king, you have to make a trumpet fanfare like this. Do, 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 do. Let's practice. Xerxes. Do, 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 do. It doesn't count unless you put your hand up and do the actual trumpet thing. Yeah. Xerxes. Yes. Now, Vashti is one of the queens, and she's kind of irritated with Xerxes, so she goes, oh. <laughs> Yeah, just it, channel your inner teenager, go, oh. All right. Now, Mordecai is the good guard, and he's a person of action. Rumble your feet for Mordecai. Mordecai. Some of you may need to sit way forward to reach, right? Haman is the bad guy, and we're going to go, blah. <laughs> wow. Every time we hear Haman and Esther, our hero, every time we hear Esther, we're going to go. <laughs> you ready? That's a lot of sounds. Ready. Here we go. <clears throat> Once, Xerxes, <laughs> the king of Persia, held a big feast that lasted several days. Xerxes <laughs> sent for his wife, Vashti. <sighs> so that everyone could see her. But Vashti oh. refused to come, and that made Xerxes very mad. He commanded that Vashti oh. could not be queen anymore and that he could choose a new queen from many beautiful women. He would. One of these women was Esther. She was an orphan who had been adopted by Mordecai a Jewish man who worked at the palace. Xerxes <laughs> fell in love with Esther and married her, not knowing she was Jewish. Haman, the king's second in command, hated Mordecai and wanted to get rid of all the Jewish people. Mordecai discovered Haman's plot and asked Esther to tell Xerxes <laughs> How about it? Esther was scared, and she prayed. She knew she would be in big trouble if she went to Xerxes without being invited. But she found the courage to go to Xerxes and invite him to a banquet the next day. The, some of you are a little late with the trumpets. The next day, Xerxes remembered that Mordecai had once saved his life. He wanted to reward Mordecai and asked Haman Bleh. for advice. Haman Bleh. thought Xerxes Bleh. 
wished to reward him. So he advised that the reward should be to ride in a procession wearing royal clothes. Xerxes liked the idea and said, all right, prepare all this for Mordecai. Haman was very upset. He wanted to get rid of Mordecai, not honor him. That evening at the banquet, Esther revealed to Xerxes that she was Jewish and that Haman was planning to get rid of her people. Xerxes punished Haman and rewarded Mordecai with a royal procession. The king then gave Haman's job to Mordecai. It was a great day for all the Jewish people thanks to the faith and courage of Esther. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Everyone taking a deep breath. Hold it. Now sigh it out. <sighs> Esther had to have courage and be brave because while she had faith, her act of courage meant she had to take a risk. If she went before the king uninvited, it's hard for us to understand this now, but that was a very dangerous thing to do. It could have cost her her life because that was against the rules. Sometimes doing things that are courageous, that take faith, can be risky. It can be risky getting on the monkey bars, right, Addie? Yeah, that's a risk. But having the faith, believing in yourself that you can do it, it can feel risky going to a new school and making new friends, can it? Yeah, those are risks. You know what else? It can feel risky changing the whole way we do worship. That can feel really risky. And people say, do you, do you, do, is it going to work, Mr. Mark? Do you think this new way is going to work? And I go, I don't know. I don't. I believe it will work in the long term. But here's the deal. Say, what's the deal, Mr. Martin? It's risky. I risk making people upset. I risk making people who I really like very upset. But, but people have been reaching out to me and saying, you know, Mr. Mark, this is a good thing. It's a good thing for our church. We do need to be together. The best way for us to show our children a life of faith is by them to see us practicing and for us to be worshiping together. We believe in you, Mr. Mark, and that feels very nice. The ego part of me likes that very much, but it's not about me. Here's why I believe this is going to work, and it's not because of me. And it's not because of what I can do. But I'm looking at you, and I believe in you. And it's going to take all of us to do this. Not, not some guy with a crazy children's program and a giant light bright. Not a flashy organ. Not some engaging speaker who wears skinny jeans. It's going to take all of us together. He's going to kill me later. It's going to take all of us doing it together. For those of you who are real excited about the change, that's awesome. There are some people who aren't crazy about it. You owe it to them to be here on Sundays to show your support. Those of you who aren't crazy about the changes, stay with us. Be part of the process. Don't give up. And when there's something you see week after week that really isn't working for you, let us know so that we can help so that we can build this together. This isn't just a few people in some ivory tower somewhere plotting worship. Liturgy means what? The work of the people. Not the work of the person, not the work of the paid people. 
Liturgy means the work of the people. Doing new things is risky, but I believe in God and I believe in you. I have faith that this will work. Whew. Let's seal that with a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. <coughs> Be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. God is with you. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go. God is there. God is there. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. I would like to invite our ushers to come on down to collect this morning's offering. Ushers, come on down. This is a sing-along offertory, which is really in with our theme. We've sung it a few times before. This is kind of the Kenyan version of the more we get together. It's a call and response. Here's how it works. I will sing, oh, who will build the church now? And you'll sing, we'll build it together. Oh, who will build the church now? Right, but here's the deal. Say, what's the deal, Mr. Mark? What's the deal, Mr. Mark? I have heard enough of my voice today. I'm sure you have too. So you sing out, so to cover me up. I'll sing my part first. Oh, who will build the church now? We'll build it together. Oh, who will build the church now? We'll build it together. By the way, you sound better than I do. Now, here's the chorus. We all do this together. This is the funnest part. It goes like this. Yo, oh, oh, oh. Yo oh 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 yo oh 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 yo oh 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 And you know what that means? Nothing. It's just fun to sing. All right? Let's get together. Ready? Go. Yo oh 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 yo oh 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 yo oh 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 yo oh 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 yo the boys and girls oh who will build the church now the boys and the girls you got it so whatever i sing you respond all right cha cha give us a beat oh who will build the church now we'll build it together oh who will build the church now we'll build it together yo oh oh 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 Boys and girls, oh, who will build the church now? The boys and the girls. Oh, who will build the church now? The boys and the girls. Sing it out. Yo, oh, oh. Sing out louder. Yo, oh, oh. Yes. Yo, oh, oh. Yo, oh, oh. Yo, oh, oh. Children and grown ups, oh, who will build the church now? The children and grown ups. Oh, who will build the church now? The children and grown ups. Yo, oh, oh. Together, oh, who will build the church now? We'll build it together. Oh, who will build the church now? We'll build it together. Yo, oh, oh, yo, oh, oh, yo, oh, oh, yo, oh, oh, yo. Taking a deep breath. <sighs>
If this is the Sunday you'd like to join our church, we invite you to come forward as we sing our closing song. We're going to sing one verse of Reach Up, Reach In, Reach Out. Also, Open House, don't forget, for those who would like to be walked through what things are going to look like next Sunday, you are welcome to join us up in room 209, and Miss Janice and Miss Heather will show you how to do things. And help! We need help getting all of the banners and stands and things back up to the children's wing. Many hands make light work. Let us sing one verse together, Miss Sarah. Echo me. We can talk to God. We can talk to God. Any time of day. Any time of day. And we need to listen. And we need to listen. To what God has to say. To what God has All together. To say. Reach up. Reach in, reach out, all together. Reach up, reach in, reach out. Give your brains a kiss. Give your hearts a kiss. Let us pray. Did we not? Did I skip the all of our treasures prayer? Good save, Landon. Let's seal this with a prayer. Sorry, I jumped your line, buddy. Say the, let's do the, Let's pray together. I'm sorry. It's one of the reasons you're up here. Let us pray. All, All of our treasures we joyfully give. The, the prayers that we whisper, the lives that we live, our time and our talents, our hands and our hearts. God gave all these to us. Now we'll do our part. Um, Thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> Good job, Landon. Do you think we should do the benediction now? Do you think they're all ready for the benediction? I agree. I think they are too. All right, let's see. Our gathering will soon be ended. Where will we go and what will we do? We will go out to be God's people in the world. May grace, peace, hope, love, and joy. joy Forever accompany us. Amen. Have a great weekend. Amen. Thank you. You saved children first. You're a hero.